Hands in his blue, let's have it right. Up the trail, up the middle, set three, let's go. Hey, Johnny's got the fucking minerals, mate. <laughs> Far we fallen, bruv. We are a calamity, bruv. Because why? It's the, the beachhead, bruv. It's the streamline. Let's get Kindergarten FC full flow. Let's make sure we buy all these young kids from different continents. Beachhead Chelsea, let's streamline. Let's, let's take over the Modi Clubs model. Let's implement Red Bull, Brighton FC, Seagull Merchants. We love them. Absolutely fantastic, really profitable. That's what we're going to do, uh, Chelsea Football Club, because we we were. It's irrelevant that they're an elite football club. It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant that they're the biggest club in London. It's irrelevant. We don't care. Why don't we care? Because we're going to implement our multi-club, multi-pound note, pound note infrastructure. Yeah, and we're going to collaborate. We're going to collaborate with all the wrong ones in the game. We're going to listen to everyone else except the supporters at Chelsea. We're going to go with an unproven blueprint because we all know well that the blueprint's blue like Chelsea, but uh, we're going to implement our clear like blue blueprint uh, because we come from the United States of America and we're going to land it. We're going to land. What does Johnny Minerals say? He says land the minerals, is it? We're going to land the minerals. You ain't land no minerals, bruv. You're landing fraudulent minerals at Chelsea, yeah? Because you're frauds, your money ball and all this jazz. It's destroyed us. It's fucking gutted us out, bruv. We're completely gutted out our football club. We've got nothing left, man. We've got no fighting spirit. We've got no experience. We've got nothing. We've got no elite nothing, bruv. Everything's getting cut out of this football club, man. Every single thing's been cut out. Do you understand me? Yeah. So have it right. Up the Chels. Up the Minnows FC. Big up to every single one of you live and locked in. Hope everyone's doing well in life and winning and all that jazz. First and foremost, we've got almost, what, 450 people you in here? I want every single one of you to smash the piece that like button. Let's get the 500 likes without even blinking one eyelid, bro. Yeah, so make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you smash that subscribe button as well. We're on the road to 10K and let's land it, bro. Let's absolutely land it, bro. Yeah, we got the Minerals FC Ultras membership, which is pinned at the top of the live chat and down below in the description. So make sure you get have a little butchers of that one. We've got the notification bell, ding dong, let's have it right, all that jazz. So make sure you do know when we go live, hit that notification button. And yes, let's have it right. Do I look like I'm going to rob a bank? Do it, does it look like something? I'm going to do something naughty? What does it look like? I don't know. We're in the waterproofs. Do you know why? Because it's absolutely pissing down with all the crying merchants. All of them in the fan base crying their eyes out, Liam Gallagher. So I just had to prepare myself because obviously I told you the storm was coming. 
I'll let you know a year ago what the shit show was all about. So, yeah, I'm fully prepared, bruv. Are you fully prepared? I'm not so sure. Are you prepared for it? Well, you better be prepared tonight. So make sure you smash that like button. Because I tell you what, it's going to be madness, bruv. Madness, yeah? So have it right, yeah? So first and foremost, guys, let's drink up all the wrong ones tears, all the trust the process merchant tears, all the Enzo sexuals, the Casado sexuals, the Mudrick sexuals, the Disarcy, he's the next John Terry sexuals, uh, the Muduweke Grasshopper Express sexuals. Uh, let's go for the Nico fraudulent counterfeit Michael Jackson sexuals who loves a bit of slosh pot wet. So let's drink all those tears as well. Big up to every single one of you. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm not, obviously. All the Chelsea's not happy because we just lost to the bin dippers. Let's have it right. We just lost to the veneer merchant. Those absolutely disgraceful booing national anthem merchants. We have lost to them and we have handed them the energy drink trophy. Oh, sorry. Um, maybe Clown Lake, Ted Lasso, Meatloaf Bowley and Siri Merchant um, and Kareem Win Stanley and Stuart Little. Um, who else we got in there? We've got a bit of Joe Shilty in there as well. Um, we've got uh, Mark Walker's Chris Walters. Uh, we've got Wise the Hunchback of Notre Dame, the 5% Merchant. Um, who else we got? Who else? Am I losing? Oh, that's it, Jose Fagaziano, who says it's more important to increase the business value then win or lose on the pitch. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, I've got something for you. You thought it's the Carabao Cup final. No, they're deluded, bruv. They think it's the Red Bull gives you wings. We're going to go with the Red Bull, Epstein FC, Multi-Kid Project FC, Kindergarten FC Project. And uh, we're going to get those wings. We ain't got no wings. You can't even drink this. I mean, you're going to go nowhere, no for it quick, bruv. Yeah, your wings are cut off, you melts. You absolute fucking clowns destroyed our football club. This is not Chelsea. This is not Chelsea. This is Clown Lake, mate. Yeah? Get with the program, man. 24-7 lockdown. Do you understand me? In the words of Denzi, 24-7 lockdown. Yeah? You want to go jail? You want to go home? We want to go home. We want to go to home of glory, bruv. You know what I'm saying? We don't seagull merchants no more. We're sick and tired of seagull merchants. Like I said, when have you been on an aeroplane on a lovely flight where you're traveling in Champions League European semi-finals? Where have you ever seen a seagull fly on your flight, bruv? They don't fly that high. They've never been to the heights of the heights, bruv. Yeah? Well, Chelsea Football Club has. We won it all. Thank you very much, Don Roman. Um, and we're copying the seagull merchants model. How was that? How was Kerry Ewing standing in the crowd today? Was he a little bit anxious, was he? Was he a little bit anxious? Yeah? Get out of our club, you absolute pawn. You little yes man, Garrett Union Stanley, get out of our football club, man. You gutted us, you destroyed us. You're bringing all this seagull merchantry to our football club. Look at the state of us, man. Look at the fucking state of us. You know what? I'm too hot, bro. I'm too hot. Let's let it out, bro. Let's let it out, man. Respect to everyone, man. Smash that like button, every single one of you. What's wrong with you, man? We've got almost 600 of you live and locked in. We're going to get up there, bruv. You know what I mean? Let's get to the 10K. That's what it's all about, bruv. Isn't it? It's all about the clicks. It's all about the interactions, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course it is. Do you know what? Jog on. Suck on that. Oh, is it? And Kunko's going to be our saviour, Clown Lake said. And all the, all the little up merchants, the little fucking, oh, yes, trust the process. It's trust the process. We're the new Arsenal. We're the new Lego Ed merchants. It's trust the process. All you fucking brown envelope minions. Yeah, let's have it right. What is it? In Kunku, it's going to be the difference. We don't need to go and buy a striker in January. No, 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 no. We'll, we'll lie and say Kunku's fit. No, he wasn't. Oh, and Kunku's going to be the saving grace. He's going to, he's going to land it. He's going to blow his balloon. <laughs> oh, it didn't happen, did it? There's no balloons flying about, is there? At Wembley? Is there any balloons flying about Stamford Bridge? Is there any balloons away at home? I don't think so. No, no. The only balloon you see is what's down there, bruv. Two lovely eggs in those in this balloon, yeah? Suck on it. Enjoy it. Yeah, let's have it right. Manscaped up. All nice and baby sham for you. Nice and like a baby's ass. Let's have it right so it's nice and smooth for you lot, yeah? Make sure you suck on them, yeah? Because every single one of you wrong uns, yeah? I've been hated, discriminated, abused, disgraced people coming at me. I'm an agenda merchant. I'm toxic. I'm this. I'm that. Am I really? Am I really that? Do you know what I'm saying? I'd still be the same if we won this tin pot club. 
because you lot propping this club cup like it's the Champions League. It's the pinnacle of football. We're going to parade it. Probably clown that had a parade already set up. So they can have it on their in their go to some flight to the United States of America, and we're going to put that lovely little ten part trophy there and say, "Look, we did this. Well, you didn't. You bottled it. Your one billion bottle job. Your one billion bottle job mercenaries on your death row contracts, on eight year contracts that you paid these fucking average players, bro. Let's have it right. Let's say it for what it really is. Average as you like. All right." Every single one of these players, man, they're not Chelsea level. This is not Chelsea. This is a joke, man. It's absolutely heartbreaking, disgraceful, disgusting, humiliating, embarrassing to go three finals and lose to the veneer merchant. And have him say, he's sitting there. Look, veneer's out. <laughs> You'll never walk alone. And all that jazz, yeah? Well, what are we doing? We're walking alone. They're all doing an elephant walk to the fucking losers' medals, bro. And then you've got troll dipper fans laughing at Enzo, going, oh, well, oh, better luck next time, pal. And he's, he's reacting to it. Let's have it right. That's how far we've fallen, man. You don't integrate with that. Where's your heads at? Where's your minerals at? Where's your mentality at? There was no mentality. There was no minerals. There's nothing. Like I said, these clowns, yeah, can use all their AI scouting, all right? They can use their Carotene Winstand in Stuart Littles from mid-tables, non-elite directors, non-elite model, non-elite everything, non-elite gaffer, all right? And you can go and shove it up your arseholes. Do you understand me? Because this is the biggest embarrassment in world football. These lot are the worst than the Glazers. They are. I've called it. I called in on TalkSport and landed their minerals. And people give it a bit of big and let's have it right. But they are the worst owners in football. We have pocketed. Worse than the Glazers, bro. Yeah. 18 months. And look at the state of us. We're shambles. We're fucking shambles. Yeah. Where's all these players going to go? Where are you going to sell them, bruv? Tell me. Eight-year contract, seven-year contract. Who's going to fucking buy them? Who's going to, where's you going to get your money back? You ain't going to get your money back, bruv. You ain't get no money back. Well done. Well done. Trust the process. Do you know what? Shove your process where the sun don't shine. Yeah? Shove it as far to the fucking moon. Which you ain't going to the moon anytime soon. Chelsea's been to the moon. We won the European glory, bruv. We see things they'll never see. Let's have it right. Won it all. Won it all, mate. Yeah? Thank God we won it all. Could go through this absolute shit show. Embarrassment. All right? And I told you lot. I warned you. Okay? Yeah? Let's have it right. I warned you. You didn't want to listen. You didn't want to listen. Nah. Well, you're listening now. And your ears like Thomas Frank Dumbo flying in the fucking realms of the earth. Where are you? Yeah? Wake up, Dumbos. Wake up. Smell the damn Levata Super Grandma because you're a fucking long way from it. You understand me? Yeah? Every single one of you. I told you these clowns, they can dig into the realms of the fucking earth. And they will still won't find no minerals, bro. There ain't going to be no minerals in this model that they've implemented plagiarizing Red Bull, who've been in existence for 17 years. Red fucking ball, bruv. An energy drink. They've made a football team. Is that what we're doing? We're doing a franchise, yeah? Is it Franchise FC? Yeah? It's Clown Lake FC. This ain't Chelsea FC. I don't recognize this. I don't... I re don't re when are the legends going to stand up and fucking land it, bruv? When are they going to stand up and say what it really fucking will is? When? I'm waiting. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. And I ain't talking about that nonsense app where you've got all these OnlyFans. What's this slosh pot where? Gets a ticket given by a geezer. All right. Instead of giving it to his kid, he gives it slosh pot where? Because you got sold a fake ticket and his flies are undone. Because you're giving him a nosh. Let's have it right. What is this, man? What's what's infiltrating in this fan base, man? What an absolute embarrassment this is, is our fan base, bro. He says it's a fucking calamity, man. An absolute calamity. You know what, yeah? It's bad enough. All right, we spent one billion, one billion, the billion boy club. I told you lot, they'll banter us. We've got fucking rivals coming at us, bantering us. I'm saying this is not Chelsea. And they're saying, yeah, it is Chelsea, it's Chelsea. No, it ain't fucking Chelsea. Let's have it right, yeah? Let's have it right, all you fucking goons in the chat, yeah? All you goons on my timeline, yeah? Let me remind you something, yeah? 
We see things they'll never see. And you go, oh, don't bring up. It's irrelevant. It ain't irrelevant. Put your fucking European pedigree on the table before you want to come and bat a Chelsea football club. You ain't got no fucking right to speak, yeah? It's bad enough that we sold Kai generational Burkamp-esque minerals habits to fucking what? Arsenal. We sold Jorginho, our only fucking captain, DM, to Arsenal for tuppence, 12 million. And these guys are getting man of matches, landing down minerals, all right, sitting in the top half of the table. What, third place? Let's have it right. What are we doing here, bruv? What are we doing? What have we upgraded on? I've got melts in the fan base saying, this team's better. Oh, thank God. We haven't got Mason Mount. We're not going to lose the final now. Well, how did that go for you? Did it go all right? Are you celebrating? Or am I wearing my rainproofs because you're fucking crying your eyes out? Yeah, you little Liam Gallagher's put the kettle on in Porto. Let's have it right. Yeah, you embarrassment. Understand why we could ban a Manchester City. Why we can ban a Liam Gallagher. Because we won that second star with Thomas Tuchel. Yeah, get me a fucking elite gaffer in that dugout. Yeah, this bottle job mentality ain't good enough. And I'm not even going to blame Poch. You see, the funny thing is, right, Poch is getting all the blame. He's getting it absolutely relentlessly. Sack him now, sack him now. When are you going to fucking wake up and understand that the ones you need to sack is Kareem Win Stanley? Stuart Little and the fucking ownership. When are you going to wake up? When? You fucking will tell me. All right? You want to keep going with Poch Agenda? They'll just bring you a Wolverine gel up merchant and fraudulent Wolverine from fucking seagull merchants. And you're going to go round and round and round the magic roundabout. And everyone's going to fucking lap it up and enjoy it. And what are you going to be drinking? You're going to be drinking an acid, mate. You're going to be drinking no minerals, bruv. Yeah? We're going to be recycling this nonsense on mediocrity, mid-table, AI scouting. Mid-level, non-eliteness. I'm done with it. I'm fucking up to here with it, bro. All right? Every single one of you need to wake the fuck up and land the damn minerals and understand what football club we are. Understand where we are in this football club. Understand that we are an elite football club. We're the biggest in London. We don't accept this nonsense. We have standards. We have levels in the game. Do you understand me? We've been there and done it and won it all. And accepting to go in and win a Carabao Cup. And that's it. We're on, the, we're on the right track. What fucking track is that? What train are we on? We ain't no gravy train, bruv. Yeah? Come on the Minerals FC. You're on the gravy train. Yeah? Come with Don Roman and all the eliteness. You're on the gravy train, bruv. Yeah? You ain't on no gravy train with these clown lakes. And what are you going to do? Keep eating, digesting those PR Happy Meals. You love them. Oh, yeah, you lap them up. You love it. Well done. So carry on. Feed your agenda on Pochettino. I told you from day one, this guy's going to be the full guy. This guy's non-elite. So what do you expect? Elite results, elite performances, elite development. What did he do at Spursy to justify him coming to Chelsea Football Club? Tell me. Yeah, you ain't done fuck all. I never wanted this gaffer. I've backed him and that's it, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can only back what's there. That's what we do as supporters. But I am not ever ever backing these clowns until they sort it out or you sell out and sell out sharpish. Go and find some Saudis from your investment at Clear Lake, Glan Lake, and you sell it to them and let them run the football club because you, Carrotine Win Stanley, yeah, Stuart Little, Little Yes Men, employed by Meatloaf Bowley and Siri Merchant, who are calling all the shots, who make all the decisions. And let's have it right. Pochettino mugging off Todd Lasso, Meatloaf Bowley, yeah, and shaking Egg Barley's hand was a message. A message to say, get the fuck out of my sight. You forced me not to play Thiago Silva. I warned you lot, if we don't play Thiago Silva... We will lose this game. We've got no leaders, no experience, no world-class minerals. He's the only world-class minerals we've got in our entire team. And he was dropped. Disgraceful. Criminal. Because Bell Silver lands the minerals and says it for what it is. Fuck off. You deserve what you get. Yeah? Pochettino's sick and tired of being told what to do. Well, that's what you are. You're a yes man. You're a yes man under Levy at Spursy, and you're a yes man under these clown lakes, and everyone is a yes man. The fan base are yes men. Everyone's a fucking jellyfish. You're all jellyfish merchants. Everything's in the bin and in the mud, 
and I'm sick and tired of it. Why is it us on the Minnows FC? We've been calling it out 24-7. No one wants to listen. Everyone's now crying. Well, it's a little too late. One billion spent down the line. It's a little bit too late that you've allowed these owners to bring in this model, this model that you can't just switch off like a light switch. Let's have it right. Oh, man, I wish it was that simple. It's not. You spent the money. We got FFP up our asses. Still, to this day, even though we offloaded our entire Champions League winning team, it's an absolute disgrace and shambles. And I haven't even got onto the game yet. How funny is that? Make sure you smash the like button. We've got, what, 700 of you in here. Respect to everyone in here landing it. Everyone in the chat. Love to all the Minnows FC Ultras from day one being landing it and understand the true narrative of what's going on at Chelsea Football Club. That's what it's all about. Yeah? We don't do it for clicks. We do it to be real. We're not bought. We're not a brown envelope. Let's have it right. We piss and shit on the brown envelopes. That's what we do. Yeah. We've always been that way. We will always be that way. We ain't no AFTV merchants. We ain't no little DR merchants. Pay me a brown envelope. Let me go on the show. Let me grow my, my celebrity status. Yeah. Bollocks to that, man. Bollocks. You understand me? It's about being real. Shut me down. Do what you want to do. I've been literally targeted, bruv. I've been fed abuse, man. Do I cry? No, I don't give a fuck. I actually don't give a fuck. I carry on. Do you know what? Because that's what generals do, bruv. Leaders. Leaders, bruv. Leaders with true narratives. That's what they do. They soldier through, bruv. Do you understand me? Even when we're winning games, I'm landing the damn minerals, calling it out for what it really is, because I'm not naive. I'm not buying into it. I'll tell you why I'm not buying into it, because A, it's never going to work. B, I know the circumstances, the circus behind the scenes. I know what these calculated clown lakes are up to and what they're doing. They don't care about the supporters. They don't give a shit. All they care about is making money. Yeah, and they'll still prop it. The PR will be, well, he's done such a great achievement. Look at the process. We got to uh, Carabao Cup final and we're showing progression. Uh, we've gone from 12th to 10th. Um, trust in the process, guys. Yeah, we're going to go out in Brazil and we've brought in uh, the crown jewel from Seagal Merchants, uh, the other recruitment officer who's going to play um, yes man to Karen Win Stanley. And he's going to go out because he speaks Sp Espanola. He speaks Espanol, so he can go to Brazil, in the Ecuador, Portugal. And he's going to bring more 15-year-olds, 17-year-olds, 18-year-olds. I'm going to fucking have a farm in FC, bruv. Yeah? Old MacDonald had a farm. E -I -E -I -O. Get off that farm, yeah? Because it ain't doing too healthy for these clowns, all right? They're fucking mocking us supporters. It's time for all the supporters to stand up and land the damn minerals and say for what it really is. Is that it right? Yeah? You understand me? All right? Now, as we, as we proceed, bruv, let me just soothe my throat. It's a little bit sore from today, as you can imagine. <sighs> right. So, before we get into the game, let me run through a few of these. Georgina and Kai balling for Arsenal, I'm fuming. I mean, what did you expect, fella? What did anyone expect? I survived the Kai Havertz Mason Mount era. What a melt. What a prat. Those wrongins look. What imbeciles. Yeah? That's all you got to say. Yeah? That's all you got to say. Uh, Roman Abramovich, Don, feel depressed, tired. Feels like bullshit, man. Not wrong, fella. Uh, Portega, speak up because it says, let's all protest against these fucking owners now. Listen, how many times are we going to say it? How many times? You want to keep going round and round and round the magic roundabout? Until we protest, nothing's going to change. It's as simple as that. And until we do do that, it's going to continue. They're going to continue implementing this nonsense, bro. Oh, look who it is. Siri Merchant Johnny, we are better owners than Roman. You can suck on that, bro. Yeah? Have it right. You'll never be able to lace Roman's beautiful trainers he wears. You know, he don't walk around with Air Jordans, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? He can walk around with flip-flops and the Havanas, bruv. It don't matter. Smoking his cigar, getting on his yachts, bruv. You understand me? Sunbathing, living the life, drinking Tropicana's are for free and all that jazz. Yeah, he can do that 24-7. You lot, you better sort it out, mate. Yeah, you little vampire-looking merchant. You understand me? Siri, iRobot. 
Yeah. AI, you're probably an Area 51 clone, bruv. God knows what you are. I don't know where you come from, bruv. You and Felici Fogaziano, man. You frauds, you majority shareholders. And someone explain to me, yeah, how Todd Meatloaf Bowley's on 20 million a year salary. This chairman, this 10% merchant, and I'm fucking tired, yeah, of all these annoying rat brand envelope platforms going, it's Todd Bowley's and Clear Lake's final Todd Bowley's Chelsea. No, it ain't. It's nowhere near his Chelsea, bruv. He's not even a majority shareholder. I'm sick and tired of this guy being put at the forefront. He's the biggest clown muppet ever to be seen in world football, bruv. All right? Stop addressing him as the main guy. I'm done with it. Big up, Rafa. He says, billion pound bottle jobs. Bowley turned you lot into countries. Laughing stock, Johnny. Chelsea isn't dining with the elites anymore. Exactly, bruv. Yeah? And I'm tired. I'm drained, bruv. I'm sick. You know what I'm saying? Rivals bantering us. They did this. Clown Lake did that. They didn't have to do it. Didn't have to dress us like this, man. All you had to do was tweak it, bruv. Give two core a few five signings. Spend your 400 million. Job done. Yeah? Let him go and challenge, bruv. Yeah? Like he was before we, we lost our wing backs. We were challenging for the Premier League. Yeah? With that squad. The squad that everyone tells us is nowhere near as good as the squad we've got now. How was the squad today? Has it been all season? How's it been? I don't know. I'm asking for a mate. I'm asking for a mate. Yeah. Grosumi, big up to you. Uh, member for two months. Respect to you. He says, your idiotic owners gave us Georgino and Kai. All same salt with rice, which led to uh, led him to come to us. And if we do win the league, those three will be vital. Oh, don't. You know what I'm saying? Don't go there. The bottom line is, yes, they are pivotal. We should have Declan Rice, Mason Mann, Kai Havertz. We should have had Frankie de Jong. You know what I'm saying? We should have had ballers like that in the midfield, bruv. Generals, bruv. Yeah? Experience, proven pedigree, yeah? We've got young players that won us trophies that we shipped off to rivals to strengthen them. <laughs> oh, you're applauding it, are you? Are you applauding it? Yeah, well done. Listen, they are. They're worse than idiotic. They are delusional, mate. Yeah? The lunatics, the Clown Lake lunatics are in charge of the asylum, bruv. And you know how that goes, mate. Yeah? Everyone knows how that goes. Uh, Yasin says, J5, J5 and Kai would have led us to a trophy today. Shrug my head. You know what? And the rest. What about N'Golo Kante? What about Kovacic, who was meant to be dead wood? What about Mason Mount? Yeah? These lot are in the history books for winning the Champions League. That's the levels at Chelsea. Yeah? That's why we got the two stars, because of these players that we shipped out. But these owners don't give a shit about that. They don't care about that. What do they care about, bruv? All they care about is their PR happy meals and how much money they can make. Yeah? That's what it's all about, bruv. Yeah? It's always been that. And it will always be that. That's the reality, bruv. That's the reality, bruv. Yeah? All right. So, let's keep rolling, bruv. Let's keep rolling. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the game. Now, uh, am I wrong in thinking? Am I wrong in thinking this? I don't know. Maybe maybe I am. Uh, um, uh, maybe I'm stupid here. I don't know. Someone tell me, bruv. Yeah. Um, so we've gone and played Liverpool. Yeah. And obviously everyone wants to banter them. You know, they're the victim. They are the victims. They're always. They've got the media on their side. They've got everything on their side. All right. And we know that. It's a given. These clowns don't know that. The clowns think the media's on our side. No, the campaign's always been against Chelsea. They've got a lot to learn, these absolute rats that are owning our football club. But the bottom line is this. We should have been in pole position to win this final. They didn't have Joel Matip, Diego Yotta, Alisson, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Curtis Jones, Darwin Nunes, Mo Salah and Dominic Sablosky. All right? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. First team players out of the eight. Seven first team players. What have we got? What have we got? Bar Reese James, and that's it. In Kunku's not fit, but he's on the bench, so it doesn't count. These lot weren't even on the bench. All right. We had a fully fit first team and bench. Bar Reese James. All right. Understand that that is our first team that we put out on the field today, 
right? So forgive me for thinking, going to Wembley, that we're actually going to win this trophy today. Forgive me for thinking that, yeah, we should. There's no, no excuses that we shouldn't be beating Liverpool. I would say it's a 60-40 that Chelsea win this game. All right. A lot of people saying 50-50 once the Salah and Darwin Nunes um, news came out. Yeah. You got Gapo, Diaz, Elliot, Bradley. Uh, what's his name? Um, Endo. McAllister, the Dutch fella in midfield. And they got their back line pretty much. They got their back line and their goalkeeper, backup goalkeeper, Allison. All right. We should be winning this game. We should be going into this game after having, oh, look at us. Chelsea are back. We drew with Manchester City. Look at us. We're, we're drawing against all of it. No, hold on a minute. Didn't we go to Anfield and get absolutely pummeled? Didn't we go and get pummeled at Manchester, Manchester United, Old Trafford, who were in the gutter, in the trenches? Didn't we get pummeled by Newcastle at St. James's Park? Let's have it right. So, yeah, I don't think Chelsea are back. And I don't think we ever were on any trajectory or, or momentum. It was all false hope. It's all false hope FC. It's the hope that kills everyone. You hope it's going to change. You think it's the old Chelsea. We're going to steamroll. The mentality is going to come back. We're going to go and win a trophy. Nah, bruv. We played Liverpool's B-stroke C team, all right, for the entire 90 minutes. They had a goal disallowed with Van Dijk the Van Dick, all right, the big 12-incher, all right, on what? Chile. How is Chile marking Van Dick? Someone explain to me what the tactical analysis is there, bruv. Why is he doing that? Why is Enzo on um, on all their... All, why are all our small players and not our shithousery Cull Hills, you know, the next John Terry's and the disaster, the next John Terry, you know, had a couple games and he's our JT. I mean, the delusion is madness, bruv. I don't know what you lot are smoking. You must be on crack or something, man. It ain't too healthy for you. Um, but this guy, the bouncer himself, is nowhere near a John Terry. It's an absolute insult. And I don't care if John Terry complimented. He can compliment it for a game or two. It's great PR. It's great to, to feed some false hope. But the reality is Van Dyck, yeah, is what you call a central defender in that game. You see, that game was their captain. Liverpool had Van Dyck as their captain, bruv. Do you understand me? Yeah. What did we have as our captain? We had Chile. Yeah, Champions League winner. Why was Thiago Silva not playing? Why was he not at the back? Oh, but we play better without Thiago Silva. We're a much better team. We don't need him. Bill Silva, sit this one out, really. Really? In a in a in a cup final? You're gonna sit out your best defender at 40 years old? Generational centre back learnt off Maldini and Nesta, who learnt off Baresi, the best goat in the game. We're going to leave him out of a final because of the fucking agenda from what? Clown Lake? Because they gave the orders to Pochettino. I wouldn't be so so surprised if Pochettino blanked Todd Lassaboli and Meatloaf because of that reason. He wanted to play Thiago Silva. He understands. What did Pochettino, sorry, Bottlechino, what did Bottlechino say at the start of the season before, in the summer? He says, I need experience in this team. I want some experience. Did the Clown Lakes back him? Did they listen? Did they fuck? All right. So what else did he say? He said, if I don't play Enzo and Casado, oh, the fans will kill me and the, the ownership will kill me. Right. Major problems, bro. Yeah. Dictatorship. This is the ownership meddling with the gaffer and the footballing levels, bro. Yeah. They don't know nothing about football and they're dictating the gaffer. Another yes, man, because this, this gaffer, the gaff is the model. This model doesn't collaborate with anyone elite. If you're not a yes man, you're not getting the job. You're not getting the nod. You're not getting the suck off. Let's have it right. Yeah. You ain't getting the death row contract. You ain't getting the happy meals. You understand me? So that's the reality. All right. We have been dealt this ridiculous, unproven model on a silver platter. And everyone's supposed to just lap it up and eat it up. All the PI happy meals, we're just supposed to buy into it. No, jog on, mate. You're a long way from Levanta Super Glamour. You're a long way from Starbucks. Let's have it right. You are a long way from Chelsea Football Club from understanding what we are as a football club. This game was an absolute disgrace. We know we can't finish our dinner. Just like, 
what's his name? Nico Jackson can't finish his dinner, can't finish anything. He's trust the come shot FC to have it right. That's what this trust the process is. Our slosh pot wet, bruv. All right. This is what we got. Yeah. This is everything we got. We've got an average age of 20 year olds playing Klopp's BC team who run us ragged, dominated in possession, dominated in chances, got a goal disallowed through offside. All right. These are the issues. These are the red flags in the game. We had chances. Don't get me wrong. We had Conor Gallagher, one-on-one. -on -one. What's he doing? Too many touches. Go around the keeper. Do something. He's not technically gifted enough. Conor's not that guy. He's not even fucking Chelsea first team level. I've told you this. But he is, when he was at Crystal Palace, he was the pinnacle, bro. You know what I'm saying? He was having the, 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 the season of his life. Where did they finish? 10th place. That's the benchmark. He couldn't get into our Champions League winning team. He couldn't even get into the team under Tuchel. Tuchel only played him because of injuries. We had Kant and Kovacic out. Georgie was getting played literally till, till his legs were falling off. So he played Conor Gallagher. Let's have it right. To do a Kante job. To, to press. To work rate. The things that Enzo and Casado, who we spent £230 million, can't do. They can't do it. So you have to play Conor. At the very least, he's proper Chelsea. At least he fucking tries. At least he plays with his heart on his sleeve. At least he understands Chelsea. At least he wants to play for Chelsea, all right? The, I can't say that for the majority of these fucking absolute vibes FC merchants that we've got our football club. Probably going to go out to, uh, what's it, Tape London and uh, do a Brazzers and Pornhub audition and live it up, bro. Yeah, that's what they're going to be doing tonight. Yeah, all right? This is the embarrassing thing, right? We've got Enzo and Casado in the middle of the park. They can't do what Connor does. They can't do it. They ain't got it. You've got Enzo with his fucking, what's it called? Coconut looking tea holder, sipping his tea out of a straw. All right. And uh, we've got uh, Casado there with his, uh, with his with his wraps there, like he's been sparring 24-7. This guy's like you stay on pitches these, way, these days. I mean, this guy's too rash, man. He needs to calm himself down. I told you. He needs to relax himself, bro. All right. This is the problem, right? These lot... This midfield got done. Let me let me just go through it. Uh, what was it? McAllister, who cost 38 million or 32 million from Brighton. Uh, Endo, who was meant, who was basically bought instead of Casado, got schooled. Uh, well, schooled our midfield. Uh, and you got, uh, what was it? Bradley Payne in there. Uh, no, sorry. It was the Hobbit Elliot. The Hobbit Elliot was in there as well. Running the game. Absolutely running the game. This little hobbit, you know the guy that squared up the Kai Havertz in one of the finals and Havertz was looking down at him like giant, giant Jack and a giant beanstalk, bruv. We were at the top of it and we were looking down at him, bruv. Is that a bit right? Um, well, he was looking down at us a lot and those players. He absolutely was, bruv. Yeah. What did we have? What did we have? We had Endo schooling Casado. You had McAllister schooling Enzo. And you had the Dutch fella schooling Gallagher in that midfield. Then they had the injury. The Dutch fella, I can't pronounce his name, bruv. So forgive me, yeah. All right. I don't know Liverpool, a lot of Liverpool's team. Yeah. In fact, I hardly recognised in the fucking what? End of second half, come extra time, any of these players coming on, bruv. All right. Um, but when that injury happened, the momentum switched. The momentum switched. Diaz was unbelievable. I mean, he was just running it, running the game up front. He was their main threat. All right. These guys didn't even have Salah, Nunes. I mean, Gapo, I don't rate him. He's rubbish, bruv. He's a toothpick on, on stilts, man. That's what he is. I don't see any hype about this guy. He's useless, waste of money, uh, overhyped. And this guy still looked better than Nico Jackson, bruv. All right. What are we doing here? Yeah. Um, this is the problem. Yeah. We had chances. We had the uh, Cole Palmer chance. Stonewall opportunity, amazing save. Yeah. Uh, Liverpool hit the crossbar. We hit the crossbar. Uh, Gallagher had another chance. All in like the second half. You could see Liverpool were knackered, bruv. They were absolutely shattered. Van Dijk was calling the shots. He was leading it. He was landing it. All right. He was controlling everything. The mentality, the game management. You could see the players had a game plan. You could see Liverpool had an identity. They had a way of playing. They looked a proper outfit. And they had half their team missing. Right?
We have lost six Wembley finals consecutively. It's a, it's a record breaker. In fact, everything these clowns do is breaking records, bro. They break records for all the wrong reasons, yeah? Every record's been broken for all the wrong reasons. That's classic, that is. Pochettino, Bottlechino, still can't win a trophy. Still can't win a trophy, bro. Yeah? Why did Liverpool win? Liverpool had an elite gaffer in the dugout. Liverpool had... The Liverpool supporters, near the end of the game, were absolutely going rampant. Believing in their team. Chanting. Singing. Proud of the fight. What are we proud of? We got Gusto, this French cuisine merchant, all right? This guy, Jeremy Times, we had the right flank open for Diaz because this guy was strolling back when uh, Robertson had that header that hit the post, yeah? What was, what was Gusto doing? Bombing it up there, strolling back, not tracking back. How many times? How many times did he touch the ball and it goes out? How many times did Chelsea give the ball away in this game? Poor. I said this. Never give the ball away cheaply in games in finals. You don't give the ball away cheaply. All right? We gave it away for fun. Misplaced passes. Jackson can't hold the ball for dear life, bro. All right? This guy's not a striker. Sterling never scored against Liverpool. Will never score against Liverpool. And I'm hearing a gender on Sterling. This guy got slinged off anyway, all right? I never expected this guy to score, even if he started. But at least he can try and help us in some way. The only players I saw try was Chilwell and Conor Gallagher in this game. Everyone else chasing shadows against a weak Liverpool. A weak Liverpool. Done us like kippers, bro. Yeah? We got our extra time. Can you believe the chances we had near the end of the first half to kill the game? What the fuck is Enzo doing a backflip there? Why is he not playing it back to Sterling? Why is he not squaring it, doing a little layoff so we can smash it in and win the game 1-0? Whoever scores the goal wins the wins the cup final. It was always going to be a one niller. It was always going to be like that. The script was written, the way the game was going. It was the most entertaining nil-nil, bruv. Yeah? Petrovic kept us in the game. Petrovic was fucking probably one of our best players. A goalkeeper, a kid, landing more minerals than his £100 million signings. Gallagher's not a finisher. Gallagher, I didn't expect him to finish those chances, honestly. Why isn't Cole Palmer in that position? Where was Cole Palmer today? Everyone's saying to me, he's clear of Mason, man. He's clear of Kai Havertz. Where the fuck was he? I like the player. Top player. Lovely young player. His potential. That's it. He ain't won the Champions League for Chelsea. He hasn't won the Club World Cup. Hasn't won the Super Cup for Chelsea. Hasn't got us top four for Chelsea. So, young players with the inexperience are inconsistent. All right? Inconsistency is a common theme at Chelsea FC. Yeah, it's always been that way. I told you this season from the very get go, it's going to be inconsistent, it's going to be up and down. What do you fucking well expect when you've got no experience in your team? You've got no backbone. We spent one billion, no backbone, no core in this team. We're building a core, we're building a core, we're building a 100 point team. Yeah, how's that going for you? Your one billion pound team. Yeah, all right. And this is, the, this is it. This is what sent me off the edge. They take off. Endo. McAllister, Bradley. They bring on Lee Clark's son, who used to play for Newcastle. Bobby Clark. McConnell. Dan's Kwanzaa. These players haven't even got proper numbers on their back. They've got double digits, bruv. You don't even know. Yeah? All right? These kids are 17 years old, 18 years old. You've got the veneer merchant playing kids younger than the kids we got in our team, and they are playing us off the fucking park. Because our bottle job manager huddles them up and says, sit back and let's hold out for penalties. What a fucking disgrace. These lot are tired. These lot have got younger players with inexperience. No, hold on a minute. They still played the Liverpool way. These young kids schooled our midfielders of 200 million.
You know these players that they brought on, yeah? These kids that Klopp brought on, the Klopp kids, you know they're on dull wages. Do you understand what the dull is? Yeah? Ironic being Liverpool. They're on dull wages. 150 grand, 200 grand a week. They're throw contracts, bruv. They play for the badge. They want to make it. They want to play for the gaffer. They want to win the game. They want to win the cup. They got the mentality injected in them, bruv. Yeah? That's what pulls them through. That's what the DNA is, bro. They're winners. They train with elite players, experience, winners, elite gaffer. You don't get their owners, FSG, going in the dressing room. I won't be surprised if Todd Meatloaf bowling soon match in the dressing room, drinking up their beers, celebrating, inviting all their VIPs before the game. I won't be surprised, bro. Yeah. Dan's second professional game against Chelsea in the Carabao Cup final. And they fucking run us off the park. Dominate possession. And they go and score the goal. <laughs> Killed us. Do you know what done me? Liverpool supporters are saying, don't worry about a thing. Because every little thing is going to be all right. Is it really? Is it going to be all right? Is it going to be all right? No, it ain't. They're fucking mocking Chelsea. Everyone's mugging us off. Yeah. Pochettino is a criminal for telling them to sit back. But do you know why he's not so much of a criminal, actually? It's because he knows he had fuck all on the bench. He had Mudrick, who hasn't played for the last four or five games. Looks like just he's had his, his confidence is in the absolute realms of the earth, in the in the mud. All right, and Kunku's just not the player that everyone thinks he's going to be, bruv. All right, his balloons are on hold. Let's have it right. Pools. They're in a. They're in the Clown Lakes uh, circus room. You know what I'm saying? Plenty of balloons there, bruv. Um, yeah. What he had? Nothing. He took Conor Gallagher off because the game changed in extra time. Took Connor off, didn't he? Because it's not about the pressing game no more. It's all about sit back, counter, and go at it. Why weren't we going at them? Why did we stop playing at them? We had them under the cosh in the second half, near the end of the second half. We had them there where we wanted them. Why didn't we just go and go for the final kill? No, 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 no. This is a Spursy way. You brought a Spursy DNA to our football club. But the bottom line is, Poch knew every single one of these players were absolutely shattered. They're kids. Cole Palmer's played 90 minutes of every single fucking game. This guy, no wonder he ghosted in this game. He's shattered. All right? You bring on Mudueke, this guy, you'll never be Chelsea level. Jackson will never be Chelsea level. I don't care what you tell me. Mudueke's a grasshopper on speed, mate. Yeah? This guy is crossing with his left fucking foot instead of his right when he needs to stretch the play. His decision-making is abysmal. In fact, the decision-making from the entire team was a joke. Enzo Fernandez is meant to be our, what, our final piece in midfield, the Fabregas player. This guy plays Hollywood balls like he thinks he's Meatloaf Bowley, bruv, in Hollywood. Golden Globe trophies is what he's dreaming about. Because I'll tell you what, these Hollywood balls, there was none of them. There was none of them, right? When are people going to stop propping mediocrity, overhyping mediocrity, overhyping average, inexperienced players? What experience? This is their first final playing on a massive pitch at Wembley. I knew the pitch is so big at Wembley that they're going to struggle. Eventually, if the game goes on and it's both a nil-nil, 1-1, one, one, we will get found out. We will get found out. And that's the reality in the game. That's the reality, bro. Yeah? Our team got beat by Liverpool and Klopp's Academy. We spent one billion on our team and we got done by their academy. Their academy learns off top players. They know the Liverpool way. Klopp mugged everyone off at Clown Lake by bringing on kids. Why did we go to PSV, Monaco, dead leagues? Bundesliga and to overpay for these players when we could have just gone to Liverpool's academy, we could have got done a Cole Palmer again and gone to Manchester City's academy and bought a bunch of academy kids 
all from Premier League clubs. Why don't you do that? One billion's gone. I don't think people realise how finished Chelsea are. They have killed us, murdered us, destroyed us, right? This is unrectifiable, bro. You understand me? This is this is bottom of the barrel, all right? Forget the barrel. The barrel's rotted. Worms are coming through the realms of the earth up into the barrel, bro. And that is what's happening. They're eating away at the barrel. There's nothing there. There's nothing at Chelsea, all right? There's nothing positive. There's nothing to believe in. There's no project. This project's a fagazi. I warned you. I told you. And you can all fucking shovel your apologies where the sun don't shine. I'm not interested. Just do the right thing. Instead of propping all these shit results, these wins, where you're just average, all right? When we come in it, and it gets to squeaky bum time, in, t- in the words of Sir Alex Ferguson, that's when you've got to land it. That's when, you, when it counts, when it matters. Nah, we ain't got the mentality. We ain't got the right gaffer. So have it right. We don't have it. We don't have the right structure. We don't have the right mentality. Yeah? Alex says Potts should be gone for comments after after game alone. I mean, not, not wrong. They're abysmal. They're embarrassing. How are you making these comments? We're Chelsea. When you signed for us, Pochettino, you said, this is Chelsea, you have to win. Then it turned into trust the process. Then it turned to mid-table is our reality now. Yeah? Then it turned to we will try and win. Then it will turn to, no, Liverpool the favourites. How the fuck are Liverpool the favourites? Do you understand? Yeah? This was the best opportunity you're ever going to get in a, in a cup final to play the weakened, crippled Liverpool. All right? where they're playing academy players and you still bottled it. Big up with Brian, member. He says, Clown Lake Rats ran straight to their rat tunnels, pathetic ownership. They are. They're worse than the Glazers. John, big up with Jamie uh, for membership, 10 months. He says, Johnny, the owners have a field day with all the kids on display. Someone needs to check this. their hard drives. It's becoming worrying at this rate. They're probably going to go and ransack Liverpool's academy right now. That's exactly what they're going to go and do, these wrong uns. Uh, big up Michael Chelsea uh, FC. Respect to you becoming a member. He says, big up Johnny. It's disgraceful uh, spunking one billion without even getting a striker. It's like having your, your hands tied behind your back, set up to fail. It's not even that. You didn't get a proper number 10. You didn't get a proper striker. Our wingers are rubbish. All right. They're absolutely poor. All right. They're average and overpaid. All right. On long death row contracts. You haven't even got a number one goalkeeper. I like Petrich, but he's he's not world-class yet, if you ever get there, all right? You haven't replaced Thiago Silva. You don't have a spine and you spent one billion because non-footballing brains are making decisions and buying players based on AI scouting that Burnley and the MLS use. Every club in the MLS uses it and Burnley, all right? And Chelsea Football Club. Are using AI, and when you got Kerry Win Stanley, who everyone is 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 on their knees for this the prop for this guy. They're going, oh, they're doing a good job. They want to make him great. Why don't you just go and buy great directors instead of getting good meaty ones to make them great? Everything's about making things great. Everything's about building. Um, everything's about process. But you don't think about the now. The now's got you in the fucking mud. No European football. Mid table. No trophies. No, trust them. Don't throw out any more PR Happy Meals about this trust the process. It's a five-year project. It's gone, mate. You're fucking done. Clown Lake, done. You're fucked. You're fucked. And rightly so. Big up, James. There's a toxic positivity matrix is back because we push Liverpool to extra time. That is the standard spin set at the moment. By dumb and dumb. I mean, whoever's saying this are absolute delusion, delusional freaks. Yeah. All right. That team dominated on, on possession, dominated on, 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 on chance creation, dominated on identity in play, had a, 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 a youth team, basically, academy players that got them over the line. Some that had had one appearance before playing or two appearances before playing us in their first ever final, 
when we got ours on big money signings. Overpaid, paid players, bro. Data. How's the data, Siri Merchant? How's the data, Meatloaf Bowley? Fucking Carrot Ewan Stanley. How's the data, fella? You AI merchants. Yeah? Get out of my club. Big up to MM13. He says, um, Zamamina, eh, eh, listen. Yeah? He won us a Champions League. God forbid he does that at you goons, bruv. Yeah? You ain't winning fuck all. Yeah? Lego head, he ain't winning fuck all. He's a bottle job. Just like his head looks. All right? Let's have it right. Yeah? You'll never be Chelsea Football Club. You'll never be Chelsea Football Club. And he'll always, Legad will always be in my arms. Let's have it right. Yeah. Uh, big up across the series. Also, some of your fans are delusional. Hold high standards for Arsenal, but have no standards for Chelsea. They claim to have a better 11 than Arsenal. No, we don't. No, we don't. Arsenal, Declan Rice slots into their team. You know, they've got balance, they, but they're, not, they're still not going to win it. Yeah. They're still not going to win anything. So what? Our clown owners are benchmarking Arsenal and Lego head as the benchmark. He's in phase four, going into phase five. Sorry, he's four, phase 4.5, going into phase five. And he still hasn't won a trophy. And he's still not top of the league yet, right? Spent half a, over half a billion quid. That's not Chelsea. Chelsea's about winning. Chelsea's about getting over the line. We had Didier Drogba's bruv, who win us finals single-handedly. Where's one of these 100 million pound players winning us finals single-handedly? There ain't none. That's the point. You're bought poorly. Your recruitment, this is poor recruitment, poor decision-making, non-elite decisions, non-elite owners, non-elite gaffer, non-elite model, non-elite players, gets you these results. Big up the press B says half the Liverpool team that beat us are are asleep now because it's their past their bedtime. Under 21s on an a nothing salary, beating one billion squad is sickening. They're on dole, they're on the dole wages. All right, first thing. Second thing, they haven't even uh, reached puberty. The third thing is that they're, they're basically embryos. So have it right. That's what they are. Come fresh out of the academy. All right. And they're schooling our our one billion pound team. You take all the experience off in Gallagher and, and Chilwell when you, you're playing for penalties and they're both penalty takers. Work that one out. I mean, decisions after decisions were a joke. The, the game management was abysmal. You've got no leaders in this team, no experience. You didn't play Thiago Silva because he'd been forced out. A fucking criminal offence. Yeah. Then you, you expect to get these results. Yeah, of course, he says, Johnny, is it true that Clear Lake wanted Smith Rowe? Well, what, what, of course they want him. He's a young, fresh kid who's not getting any game time. Take advantage and we can maximise profit. Um, I'm pretty sure Tuchel wanted Diaz. Yeah, I think maybe he did. You know, bring back Tommy Tuchel. In fact, Tuchel won't go near this again. He won't go near these clowns. Bring me Jose Marino. He's the only one that can save our football club. I don't care what you tell me. This guy will instill mentality into these, these average players and make them believe they're world beaters. He will get rid of all the rubbish, all right? He will advise and give the right advice. He would be director and gaffer and get rid of these Brighton Seagull merchants, Paul Wynn Stanley, and, and these crown jewels, his fucking whole entire structure needs to go out of this football club. You should have bought Brighton FC. Go and buy Brighton. You would have been cheaper for you. Instead, you go and buy half elite football club on the cheap, you agenda merchant. You've fucking got an agenda on Roman. And that's why you bought us. Yeah? I'm fucking rattled, bro. I'm tired of this shit. Big up Alex is sitting back against Liverpool's C team. Who are we? We are bottom of the barrel. We're a mid-table club. It was like Brighton, the underdogs against Liverpool's C team. And C team battered us. It wasn't even their C team, bro. We're talking D E team, bro. Yeah. Literally D E team. And what are they going to bring us? All the stats. It's going to be all stats galore uh, on the timeline. I bet you it will. In fact, let's go through it. Let's go through it. Inside Chelsea, Man City director of football, T uh, Tixie, uh, Bet Gristine, Gristain, message Lawrence Stewart, 
The Stuart Little, after Chelsea's 1-1 draw against City, saying, stay calm, trust the process. Do I fucking well believe that? I absolutely saying trust the process because he knows this process is a ba- load of bangers and mash waffle. He's happy for Chelsea to be nowhere, nowhere near it, bruv. Hopefully they're thinking, come on, cash in. We need them break balance the books on FFP. Buy some more of our academy. What a lovely PR stunt from Man City. Let's have it right. Pochettino says, now it is about winning. After the game. Fucking hell. All right. What a disgrace, man. Yeah. What a disgrace. All right. What a disgrace. Pochettino admits Chelsea were playing for penalties in extra time. The team felt maybe the penalties would be good for us. Why is the team? Why did the team feel it's better to play for penalties? Why is the gaffer not telling the team? No, we're not playing for penalties. We're going to go for the kill. They're tired. They're young. They're inexperienced. Because Poch knew that our team was struggling against their C-team academy boys. And he knew that the, our players had no legs in them. They were run out, no gas left in the tank. And that's why. I don't blame him to an extent. I actually don't. He says, Pochettino on how his side ran out of... Oh, he said it. How his side ran out of gas and prompted accusations of being blue billion pound bottle jobs. We made a few changes like Gallagher and Chill in extra time. But it's true. We didn't keep the energy... How we finished the second half. Well, you're taking two of your, you're taking off your captain. You're giving a captaincy to Enzo, which is just criminal in itself. You've got fucking Melts in the fan base going, oh, it'd be criminal if it, Chilwell holds the captaincy up because he's wearing a vest at London Fashion Week and he's not even to sell him. All right. But Enzo, yeah, he's our star boy. Let him hold the trophy. Fuck off, man. Get in the bin. Yeah. Get in the bin. All right. This is embarrassing, bruv. This is embarrassing, yeah? Look at this, guys. I'm going to put this up now. Look at the state of this, yeah? There is no strategy at Chelsea. There's nothing, bruv, yeah? It's all PR happy meals. Here we go, look. Look at this. Let's rewind it. Bowley's too busy with his brown envelopes in his pocket. And Siri Merchant, who's the real boss. Ah, oh, what embarrassment. That was a big snub. Love that. Go on, gaffer. Fucking land it. Love it. He's a rat. Clown. Get him out of our football club. Get him out of our football club. Yeah? Todd, meatloaf, Bowley. Fuck off. That's the message from me, mate. Yeah? That's the message from me. Yeah? That's the message from me. You understand me? LP says, sorry, Johnny, just like Chelsea, Jose is finished. I don't care. Jose's not finished. Jose instills and lands, the, lands the, the, the foundations at Chelsea. We need that. We're desperate need of it, bro. We're in the absolute desperate need of it. Yeah? He's the only one that can come in. Don't bring me Dezebri. Don't bring me Thomas Dumbo Frank. I don't want that fraudulent Wolverine from Brighton. I'm done with Brighton. He's laughing. He's got his arms out like that. Mm, 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 Seagull. Fuck off. Get in the bin. Yeah. Mike says, the likes of Rory, Radiator Lemons and Clown. uh, I'm not even going to say his wrong name. Can ban us all. They like. We must keep spreading the message. Otherwise, nothing will ever change. Listen, when will they start talking the true narrative? Yeah. It's very simple. Who hired Pochettino? Everyone's got an agenda on Pochettino. Who hired him? Ding, 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 ding. There you are, Rollins. Who bought the players? Not Poch. Directors. Owners. Ding, 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 ding. Who's calling all the shots? The Clown Lakes. Ding, 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 ding. And they're still fucking in a coma. Let them. Let them all be like that. Like I say, I've got my waterproofs on. All their tears are just running on me, mate. Cry me a river, Justin Timberlake. Let's have it right. Uh, he says, King Kai land and minerals, Bowley killing Chels. Listen, I, always, I am the only one in the fan base that knows how good Kai Havertz is. That knows how good Mason Mount is. 
So when I say what I say, I don't do it for banter. I don't do it for clicks. I do it because I fucking mean it. And I know what I see. And I know, like I know this team that's at Chelsea, that is not Chelsea, is nowhere near it. He's never going to be at the pinnacle. He's not going to win trophies. He's not going to get Champions League football until you go out and spend the money. The problem is the wage structure is 150 cap, eliminates you in the market. You can't buy no experience. No one over the age of 24 years old. In fact, we're looking even younger. So you're eliminated there. FFP's up your ass. We, If we won the trophy, we wouldn't even be able to play in the Conference League. We'd have to actually forfeit the Conference League because of the actual breaches that we'd be making on UEFA's law books, on their on their structure. That tells you everything you need to know about how we are being run as a football club by clowns. They have no idea. And anyone propping this, anyone promoting this, anyone sponsoring it, you deserve everything you get. Don't you dare come back to me and say to me, I'm right. Because I know I'm right. I've known I'm right a year ago. And I stuck with it. And I told you. And you didn't want to listen. And here I am sitting here, schooling you again. Why can't you just school the fan base? Why can't you all together, collectively as a fan base, unite and school these owners and protest and actually school the brown envelopes? No, because we're worried about our channels getting shut down. We're worried about our accounts on Twitter getting shut down. Darko, shout out Darko. Do you know he got reported and got his account suspended, bro? Because he was telling the truth. Because the club were forcing him to say what they want him to say. That's what they do to all his YouTube accounts. That's what they do to the Twitter account. They can't speak, but on the Minerals FC, oh, different ball game, bruv. When we ain't ball, we can say whatever we want. We are here. We're like Michael Clayton, bruv, George Clooney. We're the fixers. We'll come out. We'll say whatever can't be said, and no one can stop us for it. We are the breath of fresh air, bruv. We are the Minerals FC, and that's what we will continue to do. And I love it because I want what's best for my football club. If Clown Lake go and rectify their, their mistakes and they go and bring us elite gaffer and they change their model and they sack these directors and bring in elite directors and actually rectify and want Chelsea to be a, a, a monster and a machine, a winning machine and go and win trophies and put the, the, the profit-making agenda second to that, then I will give them their props and they will get my back in. The reality is they're not going to do that. They're not interested in doing that. And they will continue to do what they're doing. And until we as supporters come together and land it, and I don't mean no wishy-washy glazer out protests. I mean Chelsea protests. We do it once and once is enough. And we land it and get Clown Lake out. That's when we land the damn minerals. And that's when we save our football club. This is worse than when we got relegated. In fact, we'll probably have to get relegated for these clowns to sell our football club when they realise we're really down, the, down in the dumps. You know what I'm saying? That's the reality, bruv. Yeah. Um, Disarcy thinks he has all the time in the world to play a ball out. Who does he think he is? Louis Armstrong. We are a uh, counterfeit gully merchants. Well, the Seagull merchants are above Chelsea Football Club. That tells you everything you need to know. Uh, because we've fallen off Mount Everest. We've fallen off the face of the earth. Literally. Yeah. Um, and the reality is, Disarcy, he had a stinker today. He was, he was all over the gaff. Slipping, giving the ball away. Carl Will again. A very anxious. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Gusto out of position. He was too eager attacking. Didn't get back. Didn't support his teammates. Enzo Casado all over the gaff. Gallagher was just working it like he does, but can't finish his dinner. Cole Palmer ghosting, pirouetting like a ballerina at times. Uh, couldn't finish his dinner. You've got uh, Michael Jet Fraudulent, Counterfeit Jackson. This guy's not a striker. This guy's pants. This guy's not Chelsea level. Um, this guy's been compared to Terry on Rees, a criminal offence. He should be locked up for saying that. Um, and we got uh, Madueke coming on. We've got Sterling who, let's have it right, he was never meant to be Chelsea's main star boy. Yeah, he's a, he's a system player. That's what he is. He's there to complement the system. He's there to poach goals in a, in a good system with a structure and a core and a spine of a team. That's what Sterling is. He's not a match winner. 20, he's had to be that because we have got no experience. We've got no one over the age of, what, 23 years old. I mean, the average age is 20, 21. All right? And we're getting beaten by under 17, so under 18-year-olds. Fucking hell, man. We've just given the, the, the National Anthem Booing Merchants a trophy 
for them to give the confidence and the momentum after being after using their academy to beat our fucking young players that we spent millions on billion, all right, to now have them go in the title race. You're sitting top of the table. It's a fucking criminal, bro. It's a, it's a disgrace, man. Billy Elliott's playing like Lionel Messi against us. Like like uh, Yotta was against us at Anfield. We are done. We are done out here. Sissy May says he has to go in the tunnel like Carlo went for less. Listen, like I say to everyone, all right? This is bigger than sacking Pochettino. Is Pochettino that bad of a gaffer? Is he really? Is he better than Potter? Yes, he is. He's better than Potter. I told you, like I told you last year, it's bigger than Potter, it's bigger than Poch. Sacking these gaffers doesn't change nothing. It's the structure behind. you got Ratcliffe bringing in directors left, right and centre from Man City, Barcelona's, from Brighton, uh, but what's it, Newcastle, um, Mitchell, all these guys building a structure to make Manchester United great, putting football in the pitch as the priority to win because it's not about money. Why can't we have that? Because we got equity merchants, Wall Street merchants, money-making greed fucking vampires at our football club. And that's all they care about. And they feed you all this PR. I'm sick of them, bruv. Get them out, man. Get them out. And don't tell me they can't sell the club because they fucking well can. They're loophole merchants. They can find anything, right? They can get out of any clause. So they can sell the club that they bought. They just can't take any money out. But hold on a minute. Todd Lasso Meatloaf Bowley is milking us for 20 million a year. That's 200 million in 10 years on a salary being a chairman and co-owner. Work that one out. They're crooks. They're loophole merchants. They only care about the pound note. Big up to Michael. He says, there's no men in this team anymore. Clown Lake out. Facts. Uh, big up uh, uh Pista Eros. He says, the fans should flood the pitch at Stanford Bridge on Wednesday after the game, regardless of the result. Enough is enough. Crime like out. You fl- People lose their season tickets. They're not going to do that. If you're going to do it, we protest. Before the game, we stop the game. That's what we do. We stop the game. That's what you do. The reality is, our fan base has gone soft, bruv. It's gone soft. Yeah? These clowns should sell our football club to someone who actually wants to make us great and continue our elite football trajectory, all right, and our heritage. And they should go and buy the Seagull merchants and get their pants pulled down for that. Because I'm done with it, bruv. Yeah? I'm absolutely done. That's the reality. Yeah? That's the reality. I am the only one that has told you. What did I tell you a year ago, guys? What did I say? All the Minnows FC Ultras. What did I tell you a year ago? They want a super youth team. They're going to buy young players. They're going to sell all of our experienced players. They're only going to buy under 25 years old. They all. They only want a low wage structure. They're trying to copy Brighton's model. Red Bull model. I told you all this. Why do you think they had to publicise it? Because I was exposing it. And it was too obvious. They were going out buying all these young players. What about your Andre Santos? What about your Cassidays? What about your Angelos? What about, uh, what's his name, Moreras? All these guys have got loaned out by Angelo. They got sent back midway in January because they were surplus to requirements because they're not good enough. Yeah? Great AI scouting. The money's been spent. I told you we had to stop them last year before they spend the money. They've spent the money. Now we're in the mud. Now we're in serious trouble. It's RIP Chels. That's the only way I see it. You're stuck with these players. What have we bought? Average. Non-elite. They ain't got mentality, these players. They ain't got mentality, bruv. None of them. You got World Cup. 
winner McAllister landed down minerals for a quarter of the price of Enzo Fernandez. Yeah. Look at these fucking trolls. Look at these fucking trolls. Yeah. This guy's seagull, bruv. Yeah. Look at him. All right. Tony Bloom attended Carabao Cup final in a red tie today. Mugging us off, bruv. These fucking clowns are mugging us off. Everyone's mugging us off. All right. Eight years till these clowns get out of our football club. Get them out now, bro. Get them all out. Guys, I'm raging, mate. I'm absolutely raging. Yeah? I'm absolutely raging, bro. A fucking embarrassment. You all deserve it, these 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 melt fan base merchants, bruv. All of them, yeah. They're giving it all the big and bruv. Yeah. They're all giving it the big and weren't they? Yeah, we we're back. Chelsea's we're on the right track. We're building. What are we building towards? We're building uh 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 pound notes for these clowns. That's what they're building. They're building money making scheme. That's what they're building, mate. Yeah. Sack Potch, he's dealt a shit hand. He's not able to make decisions. Yeah. This is the reality. This is the reality. Yeah. Let me get it up. Where is it? Shit, bruv. Enzo, unlucky lad. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Fucking rats, man. Dippers. Yeah? Look at this mug, bruv. Look at these mugs. Look at them. Look at a wise merchant hunchback and not your damn now. Yeah? Look at Siri Merchant. Where's Carrie Ewan Stanley? Yeah? All of them, bruv. Yeah? Fucking laughing like a hyena, man. Dipper. Get out of our club, man. They've embarrassed us, man. They're embarrassing us, us chills. Yeah? Uh, I've seen these uh, Bakaya Saka and Cristiano comparisons are insulting. Is there no level these brown envelopes will sink to, to no knowledge whatsoever? Listen, let's have it right. The media, the brown envelope matrix will prop average, non-elite, non-world-class players to be world-class. Compare them to uh, unbelievable players, yeah? What has Bukayo Saka fucking done to be compared to Cristiano Ronaldo? I'll tell you one thing. Mason Mount is on that list with Cristiano Ronaldo for the only player with him and Messi to score an ass or assist in a quarter-final, semi-final, final Champions League and go and win it. What's Bukayo Saka done? What's he won? Delusional, bruv. It's like they're comparing Jackson to Thierry Henry. It makes me sick to my stomach. All right? Why is he still alive? Yeah, he's still alive, mate. Oh, yeah. Where is the picture of all the clowns? Where is it, bruv? It's somewhere. I got it. I got it. Where is it? Is it there? Uh, here it is. Look at them. Yeah. 
Can you see Stuart Little on the phone now, on the left? Kerry Min Stanley's behind Bowley, Meatloaf. And then you've got uh, Siri Merchant, always in their pockets, always putting things in their pockets. Who's this fucking scarecrow here? All right? I would do anything for pound notes. And I would do anything for pound notes. Fucking mercenaries, bruv. Absolute mercenaries, bruv. Yeah? Every single one of them, mate. Every single one of them, bruv. Yeah? Guys, smash the like button. Every single one of you, smash the like button. What I will say is, right, and people won't talk on this, our young players have no no, no one to look up to, no experience to look up to, nothing to look up to in training, no mentality. I mean, it's just drills after drills. What are they drilling in? They're trying to dig for minerals? Ain't no minerals, bruv, all right? When you look at Liverpool's academy and their kids, they come in, they fit the system, they, they've been taught, the grassroots, from grassroots level all the way up to the first team, they're drilled in. They've got benchmarks to look up to. They've got winners to look up to. They've got an elite gaffer to aspire to and to learn from, all right? We don't have that. So naturally, when he brings on these kids, they just slot in like Pep Guardiola, as with Man City. They just slot in, all right? You got schooled by dull salary players, He's just criminal, man. He's just criminal, bruv. Absolutely criminal. We're finished. We are. This is not Chelsea. They've killed Chelsea. And we're a long way from any success. All right? There is nothing you can tell me. If anyone buys into this project, I'm sorry to tell you, but you're going to be crying your eyes out, Liam Gallagher, like he was in Porto. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah? It's clear as got clear as day, bruv. Yeah, clear as fucking day. Yeah, Enzo, man, this guy only balls out for Argentina. He ain't balling out for Chelsea. Casado, listen, we have handed two hundred and thirty-five million, if not more. I reckon it's more to Tony Bloom and the Seagull Merchants out of our one billion. All right, and that's what you get. Mediocre mid-table results, mid-table mentality, mid-table directors, sack the directors, sack the gaffer, sack the entire fucking model, sack yourselves, clown late, sack it all, mate, sell up, shut up, shop, jog on, go back to Moneyball, play your Brad Pitt in the Golden Globes and fuck off out of Chelsea. because let's have it right, you ain't nothing, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't welcome here, you don't know what you're doing. And let's have it right, Kerry and Win Stanley. Old Emma Hayes told you to fuck off. Let's have it right. You try to meddle, trying to dictate and meddle and order, you toothpick eating carrot eating Win Stanley, yeah? You're a cancer to our football club. Who's giving this guy who's a data anal- anal- analysis, yeah, at, at Brighton, uh, sorry, at Derby, to then go to Seagull Merchants to land a job at Chelsea and go in and fucking order Thomas. Thomas, no, Thomas Tuchel weren't there with you, was he? He was going Jellyfish Potter. Ordering Jellyfish Potter? You joke, man. Yeah? How'd that work out? Ordering fucking what? Chris Vivelle? Ordering Emma Hayes? No, man, you get the middle fingers, bruv. Let's have it right. Yeah? This guy needs to get out. He's forcing everything. He's turned us into a mid-table club. Mid-table mentality. Because these clowns, do you know what these clowns do? All right? These people that are given responsibility make decisions, all right? criminal decisions and then the the ownership will go oh no that's a bad move but they won't overrule it do you know why they don't overrule it because they turn around and they go well we don't want to undermine their decisions you know we got to give them a chance <laughs> fucking get in the bin bro get in the woods bro jurisic jurisic yeah the ceo turns up when we we're playing the fa cup and goes how's everyone doing guys uh let's hope we get the three points what a fucking melt. A CEO running our football club is talking about three points in a cup game. Yeah? There ain't no points to play for, my son. Yeah? He's knockout. Let's have it right. You should be knocked out. Fucking Holyfield Mike Tyson. Let's have it right. Yeah? 
to bite your fucking ear off. Rat. I'm landing down minerals. I don't give a shit, man. I don't care what anyone tells me, bruv. I know what I say. I know what I've been saying. I've been clipped countless times. You can go back to all my streams. It's all there on the Minerals FC archives, bruv. Every single archive is there, clear as day, telling you what these clowns are doing at our football club. And they are all the proofs in the pudding. The pudding is now being served out on a silver platter in the form of a PR Happy Meal. And we don't serve PR Happy Meals. We serve true narratives. Where do we go from here? I told you, you've got to sack the whole lot, bruv. Yeah? All right? You've got to sack the whole lot. And that's the reality situation, guys. Yeah? You've got to start from scratch. One billion spent. You've got to, you've got to start from scratch, bruv. Yeah? Fucking embarrassing. Look at the state of this, bruv. Look at this state of this. This is this is the shit that winds me up, guys. Yeah? This shit right here winds me up. It absolutely winds me up. This guy is literally fucking loving life. He's living it up. He's got his arms open in front of the clown lakes like a seagull. He's flying over them, shitting on them, saying thank you very much for the 230 million pound notes. That you have lovely deposited in our accounts. Look at him smiling. Yeah, look at these fucking clowns here. Look at them. Look at the state of them. Yeah, Joker Siri Merchant, Todd Lasso, and the Garrett Eating Win Stanley there, and Stuart Little. Look at the state of them. The little yes men, fucking literally seagull. He's doing seagull moves. Yeah, seagull moves. Absolute disgrace. You've turned us into Brighton, mate. You turned us into Brighton, literally. Literally, mate. Literally, we are turned into Brighton FC. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck me, bro. Fucking idiot. <sighs> Guys, what likes we on? Let's smash the like button, man. I remember after three, four years ago, Liverpool lost, loses the Champions League, they lose the Europa League, and they believed in the project. Fuck off. See what I mean? Pochettino's the mouthpiece. I don't care about your project. I don't want to hear about your project. Your project's in the mud. Your project's in the woods, in the bin. There's nothing you can tell me. All of these guys are pushing out. Listen, these clown lakes, everything below them is an employee. They have to keep pushing. Trust the process. Wake up. Don't buy into it. Because if you buy into it, you're feeding what they want. And we will forever be in the mud. Forever. I'm begging you. Don't listen to these brown envelopes. And I found out old Matt Law, let's have it right, he don't like the clown lakes. Don't shoot the minnows, man. Let's have it right. Don't shoot the minnows, man. Don't shoot the minnows, man. Fucking embarrassment, bruv. What's the narrative going to be from everyone? Pochettino, he's got to go. He's got to be get sacked. Sack Pochettino. That's going to solve all the problems. Yeah, of course it is, man. Of course, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course it is, bruv. Yeah. Fucking jokers, bruv. FFP are coming for you. Meatloaf Bowley, tick tock, tick tock. Let's have it right. They are. They are. Do you know what? I wouldn't put it past these clown lakes that didn't want us to win this anyway. Yeah. All right. So they don't, so, they, so we don't have the embarrassment, bruv. Yeah. 
of 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 having a full fit conference conference of all of all European competitions conference. Brav, we are rock bottom, mate. We are we are. You lot, people are coming out saying Man United are worse than Chelsea. I mean, I don't know what to tell you, um, but you are you are a long way from the Vata Super Grandma, mate. Yeah. yeah. If you actually believe that Chelsea are better than Man United. Man United have spent a lot of money. They are way above. The league table don't lie. They're the data and the stats that you, look, you take note of. I don't care about data, chance creation, progressive passes. I look at it if we're up the table and we're progressing somewhere and we're looking to compete for Champions League. No, not when we're mid-table. It doesn't, give, doesn't mean anything to me, all right? All these clowns want to do is trust the process. Well, this process ain't working. It's the biggest failure in world football. Clown Lake, Meatloaf Bowley, Siri Merchant, Joseph Fagaziana, the they are the biggest failures in football. You're almost two years into this project and it's a failure. What's there to trust? Jim Ratcliffe's been there for five, not even five minutes, and he's landing damn minerals, right? What's Pochettino won? In England, nothing. Lee Gunn, PSG best team, won Lee Gunn. What's Carotene Winstanley won? What's Stuart Little won? What's Jellyfish Potter won? What they won? What's the, the crown jewels we've recently hired one? What's the AI scouting one? What's Clown Lake's track record in football? What they won? Zero. Uh, zero, mate. Yeah. Absolutely zero. And all they're doing is licking assholes. Yeah. Yes, man, tax. Yes, man, model. Brown ever like Matrix. Lapping it up. PR Happy Meal served up 24-7. Well, what, do you, what results do you expect? Trust the process is the biggest PR stunt, the biggest con ever to exist in the game. There is no trust the process at Real Madrid. There's no trust the process at Bayern Munich. There was no trust the process at Chelsea Football Club under Don Roman. It was ruthlessness, relentlessness, higher fire mentality, win or get in the bin. That's the narrative. We don't deal with the brown envelopes. We don't use PR. We don't care. If anything, players get criticised. The fans are the power. The fans are the voice. Yeah? The supporters. Well, that's all in the bin at Chelsea. And that's the problem. Yeah. I told you last year they will call when we spend a billion, they're going to banter us about billion pounds. And now everyone's bantering us because they knew this was the best opportunity for Chelsea Football Club to go and win a cup final to show can we get over the line? The reality is, can we? No chance, mate. Yeah. We just proved that today. They are a bunch of bottle jobs. Everything's bottle job. The whole model's a bottle job. The whole model's about. Well, we're happy at getting the final. We made some broadcasting uh, money. We made we made money from ticket sales. Let's have it right. And robbed all the supporters. Let's have it right. Yeah. We got dugout seats at Stamford Bridge going for astronomical money. Yeah. Because it's all about milking. All right. These lot are criminals. Yeah. Crime Lake. Clown Lake. Yeah. That's what they are, bruv. Yeah, facts curse. Poch didn't read the small print in the contract. Not wrong, fella. Not wrong. I don't think a lot of these players do either. I don't think any of the directors do, bruv. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Big up Sizzler. He says they've won unlimited single beers. <laughs> oh, mate. Not wrong, bruv. Joel Eaton. Big up to you, my geezer. He says Mudrick was the next... Uh, Alexis Sanchez are calling to our fans. Is he really? I mean, he's bought from Ukrainian League. He, I mean, this guy, man, he's got something about him. But like, everyone talks about his football IQ. Everyone's mudding him. Listen, what they don't get is right. 
is that when the media start on players and these feed agendas, these players are so young, they don't know how to deal with it. They've never experienced this pressure at Chelsea. The pressure doesn't come from Clown Lake. The pressure doesn't come from Clown Lake to the directors, the directors to the gaffer. The pressure is not on the gaffer. Therefore, the pressure doesn't come on the players. The only pressure that gets projected onto this football club is from the supporters. And that pressure got his foot taken off when we stopped singing Roman Abramovich because we beat Aston Villa and everyone thought we turned a corner. Every time we win a game, everyone thinks we turned a corner. Every time we turn up for a game and we we, we, a, we get a result, we turn in a corner and then we go and, and capitulate like we did today. Capitulation, embarrassment, bottle job mentality, bottle job game management, bottle job players. No leaders, no elite. That's it. That's the that's the results you get. It's, 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 a, it's an absolute embarrassment today. I'm ashamed, bruv. There is we got Dipper supporters feeling proud, mugging us off. All right, and yet what? We're we're meant to be sitting here, bruv. We're meant to be sitting here propping this. Trust the process. Yeah. Fuck off, mate. Yeah. Exactly. That's the pressure that got us to the final. Exactly that, you know. Listen, if you put Mudrick in Arsenal's team or you put him in a team that's balanced and got experience, he will ball out. A lot of these players would. These clowns don't understand the blueprint. Blue like Chelsea. That works. In the history of football, he's a core of experience, generals, some, some veterans, all right, some uh, 25 to 28 year olds heading to their prime with winning mentality experience. And then you've got your young players with a little bit of experience. And then you've got your youth kindergartens like Liverpool played today. Like we have majority in our team. You can't have a whole team. Like Pep Guardiola said, you can't win nothing with kids. That's the reality, right? It's pure delusion that you think you've got five years time to allow Chelsea to just, oh, they're going to build and we're going to build a 100-point team. It's a 100-point team at Chelsea. You're fucking gone, bro. They believe the data, the AI scouting, the points that they've accumulated and built with this team is going to get them 100 points. And they think they're going to win the Premier League. They're gone, mate. They're from Mars, these lot. They ain't even from Mars, bro. Yeah? Let's have it right. Yeah? It's Kanye West all falls down. Let's have it right, bro. Yeah? That's the reality of the situation, bro. Yeah, always been that way. Every single time, bro. And I don't know how much more time to say. Listen, it's going to be interesting what people say now. It's going to be very interesting to see what they say, all right? Yeah. Even Leicester gave Liverpool a better game and they're top of the championship than we did. Fucking embarrassing, bro. Yeah, it's an absolute shambles. We are a shambles at Chelsea, yeah? I've known it for God knows how long. I stuck with it and I'm never going to change my 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 narrative and my truth because I know what I see. The eye tests don't lie. Data and stats are, are misleading. They always have been and always will be, bruv. And that's the reality situation, yeah? Until people understand that, then that's your, you know what I mean? That's your progress. Not even 100 points in two seasons. Exactly, man. We can't even hit 40 points yet this season. We just about hit 40 points. Take away Tommy T's 10 points last season. We would have got relegated last season. Trust the process, mate. Yeah. Mate, so many players stunk the gaff out today. It's embarrassing, man. I'm done with it, bro. But it is what it is. Guys, smash the like button, man. What's wrong with you? Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I want every single one of you to put all your comments down below. I'm done for tonight. That's me out, bro. I've let it off my chest. I'm going to I'm gonna do another stream maybe tomorrow. Um, it needs to be landed. Think It's got to be pushed, man. We've got to be relentless with this now. We have to be, yeah? I wasn't feeling too well. That's why I didn't do a pre a stream before the games and all that. So, so apologies on that, on that. But um, I, I, I'm better now. <coughs> so, guys, make sure you keep your notifications on. Put all your comments, guys. Um, Dippers attacking. Say those mummies are disgrace, man. They're embarrassment, bruv. I mean, they're fucking dull merchants. You know what I'm saying? They're probably out robbing tonight. So have it right. Um, but it is what it is. They're never, they're never classy like Chelsea, man. 
They'll never be that. That's why it rattles me that we lost to these. Joke, man. Respect to everyone, though. Love to everyone. Um, shout out to everyone. Stay strong. Shout out to our Chelsea old boys. Yeah. RIP Chelsea old boys. As always, guys. Yeah. We see things they'll never see. We are Chelsea Football Club. We're the most elite club, biggest club in London. So drinking them damn minerals. Nothing changes there, bruv. Um, and it's simple. Clown Lake out. That's it. Because you ain't sorting it out. And that's the reality. That's the only way I'm leaving it, bruv. You know what I'm saying? So as always, guys, comments, like, subscribe. Big respect to everyone supporting the channel and listening to the true narrative. We move. We land it 24-7, bruv. Yeah, and we will not stop laying the damn minerals. All right. So, as always, guys, up the chills, up the minerals FC. Let's go.